Um, there it is. Okay. Mm. <sighs> I don't even fucking know anymore. I really don't. I'm a hell of a lot more cynical than I was a few years ago. That's because of a number of things. It's not a short story. Honestly, I don't know where the fuck to begin. Because my entire life has just been one clusterfuck of a shit show. I've been sexually assaulted and molested by babysitters. I've been psychologically and physically abused and assaulted by babysitters. My entire young life. My mom went through bad marriages where just a, a highlight reel of uh, one of these bad marriages. The fucker was Glenn Dabbs. He let his kids hold down my sister. This was before she got raped and, and died from a, a disease from the carrier. This fucker, Glenn Dabbs, let his kids hold down my sister and stab her with a fork. And he tried to fucking brainwash me. At one point, he had me and my sister believing that our mom wasn't our fucking mom. During that time... when she was uh, married to him I hallucinated and saw shit that wasn't there because of the immense overwhelming psychological torment that he put us through I still have suppressed and repressed memories that I don't fucking go through because some shit is better left buried. And after that, that was just a highlight from that particular asshole. After that, it was, um, she got married to someone who was just, you know, slightly better, but still pretty fucking bad. Self-obsessed, narcissistic, yeah, Sean Talmadge. Yeah, he would, um... He either didn't know or didn't care how much shit that uh, we had been through. And he was a self-obsessed narcissist. And, you know, uh, <laughs> the Iron Man... Uh, movies may have glorified that in the character of Tony Stark, but you know, living with that shit, it ain't like in that movie. It ain't like in those movies. Not at all. One time, we just wanted to leave. Just to separate ourselves from him. When I say we, but I was still psychologically and emotionally numb as all hell 
from the previous bullshit and it doesn't go away it sticks with you you might be able to cover it up a little but it doesn't ever go away not from how young I was like five or six years old yeah, you don't have the psychological tools to cope with shit when they're, you're that young so anyway we one time mom just wanted to get the fuck away from Sean and cool the fuck off because she was stressed out so she tells him we're just gonna go for a drive and cool off and we get in the vehicle to go and he lays down in front of it and you know just threatens run me the fuck over that sort of bullshit and there was another time where I just I ran the fuck away because you know fucking stress you can only take so much you know, people might say sticks and stones, but you can only take so much bullshit. Nothing is infinite. Not your patience, not your stress tolerance, nothing is infinite. And eventually, society needs to realize and accept the truth of that. Because the, the legal system is set up to where it just fucks you over no matter what. They don't give a fuck. And I'll get to that and how that fucked me over all in due time. But anyway, it was, it was so bad. And, and I just recently realized... What the hell? My sister was there through the whole goddamn bullshit, too. Nobody gave a fuck about us. Nobody gave a fuck. And DHR, Department of Human Resources, tried to take us away from our mom when she wasn't doing anything wrong. It was Glenn Dabbs who was being the abusive piece of shit. Who fucked us over. Who brainwashed us. When we were five and six fucking years old. To the point where we didn't believe our mother was our fucking mother. I'll never forgive you, Eleanor Clinkscales, you piece of shit. Never. I'll never forgive you, Carmen Nicole Dabbs, for stabbing my sister with a fork. Never. I'll never forgive you, Aaron and Joshua Dabs, for holding my sister down while you let yours stab her with a fork. Never. I'll never forgive you, Glenn Dabs, for brainwashing me, for being a complete piece of shit to me and my family. Never. And for the American government who let that happen, I will never fucking forgive you. To the media who made my mom look like a fucking monster on statewide television over that bullshit. I will never fucking forgive you for putting her in jail when she was innocent. Never. And then most recently, which is still stuck with me, after my sister, you know, I've got three, but I'm just talking about one of them right now. The one who was raped and died from a disease that the carrier had. So I'm going to say raped and murdered. That's what I'm going to say. She was raped and murdered by this carrier of a disease that... Let me explain what it's called. It's called restrictive cardiomyopathy. I learned a lot about it, watching my sister fucking die from it. What it does is it causes your heart to calcify in your chest and turn into basically a brick and then it shatters. 
and that is by no means peaceful or sl or fast or painless it is excruciating it is excruciating to even watch someone die like that let alone a family member you cared about in less than a week after the funeral we were still emotionally and psychologically numbed again Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually fucked up from what happened. And my stepdad, Sean Talmadge, decides to attack me. So I defend myself. And what happens in my mind is I completely lose self-consciousness. I completely blank the fuck out. Because... My psychology snapped, shattered into fucking countless billions of tiny dust particles drifting through what used to be my mind. My mind shattered. I don't really remember what the fuck happened after he attacked me. But I do remember how I was put in jail and prison by a judge who owns the land that jail is sitting on. And uh, John Oliver on uh, Last Week Tonight show on YouTube, I didn't know how fucking corrupt that the Alabama state uh, judicial system really was until just a few days ago when I watched some of your videos about it. About how they allow slap suits. About how the local authorities run unopposed when they go into office and they're corrupt. And they don't give a fuck about shit. And how they embezzle and extort money that is supposed to be for people who are put into the jail to eat. And they take that money you know what? They buy a fucking condo with it. That's what was going on while I was... For the past seven years. Yeah, the, the fucking Alabama judicial system fucked me over. I'm innocent of the shit they threw against me. And they wanted 20 fucking years. was Judge Reeves and the district attorney was what Mr. Lee Hall Mr. Hall or Lee whatever his f I don't remember his actual fucking name but you know I I remember I told them that I was defending myself and they took pictures of the wounds I sustained defending myself. They took pictures. I remember that. But as far as the rest of it, I don't even remember the six months that I, I spent in their hole, their secure housing unit in the Shelby County Federal Prisoner and Holding Transit Facility. And it is, it is a quadruple max security facility with more cameras than you can fucking count. I remember that I spent six months in the hole because the news decided to run a smear campaign or maybe they were paid by the fucking um, district attorney. I'm, I'm going with they were paid. That's what I'm going with. And I'll tell you why a little bit later I remember I spent six months in there and my mind shattered again I remember that detail but I don't remember like the day-to-day -day stuff I was still I am still numbed and fucked up because of all the bullshit I've been through
So when I cuss, when I say stupid shit, when I exercise my fucking freedom of speech, don't be a little bitch. I don't give a fuck what you think. It's my goddamn rights. I'll exercise them however the fuck I choose, bitches. If I want to say nigger or Hitler, fuck you, I'll say it. It's far, far better for me to speak things as opposed to actually doing what I was accused of and didn't fucking do. But yeah, the, uh, the media ran a fucking smear campaign, which I saw while I was in that jail in the Shelby County facility being malnourished. See this? This shit with my teeth? Yeah, that comes from a number of things. I'll explain that much later on, too. It's all relevant and relative. Just give me a few minutes. And immediately after everyone in the jail sees that pop up on the news, that smear campaign that uh, the district attorney paid them to run on me, I get thrown into their secure holding uh, facility inside their secure holding facility. A six foot by fucking eight foot box. A concrete fucking hole in the ground. With no mat to sleep on. Just a concrete motherfucking slab. Off topic, side note. One of the one of the spoiled American fat fucks was whining about how being on the cruise ship and being in your cabin the whole time under the coronavirus lockdown was like being in prison. No it fucking wasn't, bitch. You don't know what prison is like, you stupid cunt. Go kill yourself. Save me the trouble of having to endure your stupidity. Back on topic. Six fucking months. Because the media runs a smear campaign. Which is illegal at the federal fucking level for them to even talk about a high profile case. Like they were making it out to be. Because they wanted to throw me a class A felony and throw 20 years at me. They wanted to throw me away and watch me die in prison. Bloodthirsty fucking savages. That's what you Americans are. You piss me the fuck off. I hate every last single fucking one of you now. I hate Americans. Because you don't give a fuck about the truth. All you care about are the lies that the media tells you. Fuck all of you. And they dragged the, the bullshit case out against me. And then Sean, when they get him up on... Um, in front of Judge Alvis, you know, at the time, she was put elected into office. And the case goes before her. She's ready to throw it the fuck out. Because, you know, my mom gets up there in front of her and tells her, it's time for forgiveness. It's time to let this go. It's time for our family to heal. We just got over a funeral. For, for our our sister who, who was raped and died from it. It's time to let this go. And then Sean, being the idiot, self-obsessed, narcissist bitch that he is, gets up in front of the judge and says, Oh, I'm still afraid. Still afraid of me? Bitch, please, you attacked me. You're the fucking reason I went to prison, you fuck.
So instead of throwing the case out the fucking window where it belongs, she passes it along for further looking into, as she said. And additional, and this ties back into uh, the district attorney paying the media to run a hit piece on me, just like, uh, supporting evidence, side note, just like the Wall Street Journal ran a hit piece against PewDiePie back in um, 2014, 2015, a few years ago. When the, the first so-called adpocalypse was manufactured. Okay, back on to the main subject. <clears throat> We're scheduled to go in and see Judge Alva again. And I walk into the courtroom. And I see the district attorney. You know, leaning over the, the bench. Talking to Judge Alva saying... Listen, if you don't play the game the way we tell you, we'll just remove you from office. You won't be a part of the game anymore. You do what the fuck we tell you to do, bitch. You got that? I swear, that's what he fucking told her. And if you don't believe me, if you're fed looking into this, viewing this, because someone was kind enough to show it to you, to give a fuck about my existence other than being a self-obsessed little bitch like all of America is, then go ask Judge Alva over there at the Shelby County Courthouse yourself. Because I don't give a fuck who knows where I am anymore. I'm sick of the fucking shit. I'm sick of the goddamn whores on Twitter attacking me or the government agents attacking me trying to set me up to look like something I'm not. Just because, oh, you were in jail and prison. Does blah 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 know? I don't even know who the fuck that other person was. And where'd you get a fucking dick pic? Where'd you do? Go to some fucking porn website? You sick fucks on Twitter? And I made a video. I think I titled it More Scammers Attacking Me. You know, I'll find it and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. So you can see for yourself the truth of what fucking happened with that little whore on Twitter. And how she sent a wave of what now PewDiePie has dubbed simps against me. Or, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Three weeks ago it was incels. Before that it was whatever. I don't fucking know. Your, your fucking culture is bullshit now. You move from one insult to the next each fucking week. Fuck that. It's too fucking confusing. I don't have time for that shit. Grow the fuck up, America. Grow the fuck up or kill yourself. You got plenty of fucking warheads and nukes to do it with. Kill yourselves, you fucks. Now, about these teeth. Okay, first of all, you ever had a dentist take the, one of those metal hook picks and scrape your teeth? They're not supposed to do that. Maybe touch your teeth with it to um, test how strong your teeth is, but they're not supposed to scrape and try to dig into your teeth and cause your gums to bleed like uh, one of the local dentists did for me when I was younger. That's what scraped the enamel coating off of my teeth. And if you don't understand any of this stuff, research it for yourself. Okay? That's what started my teeth to being fucked up like this. The next step was malnourishment, malnutrition. Like what happened in the Alabama judicial system. Where the sheriffs are getting fat and lazy, embezzling all the money and buying condos in the... Uh, inmates, the prisoners, don't get fucked to eat. There was a federal regulation that went out while I was in that fucking jail that stated they had to provide for our nutritional requirements. Yeah. Really? You don't fucking say. That's an FDA regulation, ain't it? 
Why the fuck are the feds having to tell you to feed us, bitch? The fuck is wrong with you? Again, back to the, the bullshit investigated by um, John Oliver on last week tonight show on YouTube. Yeah, he, he covered a lot of that shit. He really did. On top of that, things like um, excessive exposure to high-powered radio frequencies, such as smart meters, um, wireless modems, cell phones. Um, cell phones takes a lot more time but um, the really high-powered ones are those smart meters. The amplification that it takes to push a wireless signal is insane. It causes more radiation than chest x-rays. It's proven. And while certain forms of wireless radiation can stimulate early cell development and growth within plants... We're talking about certain frequencies. Certain frequencies help, other frequencies do not. If you don't believe me, look up uh, rife frequencies. Uh, look up um, look up uh, which radio frequency modulations were used to disintegrate bacteria and germs, as well as uh, different viruses, and look up. Um, Rife frequencies tie into salfagio frequencies. This is based on scientific studies that they don't have peer reviews because mainstream science is in it for the money, not the science. But uh, rife frequencies are based on uh, last research that I looked at was the elemental harmonic resonance of carbon and something about that caused a healing frequency to occur. Now, I know the baseline, the very bare-bone minimum surface level of it. I'll admit that. And there, it, there is a massive amount of research behind it. You'll just go look it up for yourself. It's, it's a lot. But there are healing frequencies and hurting frequencies, just like there are foods that are good for you and there are foods that are bad for you. And there are elemental compounds naturally occurring, such as arsenic and cyanide, that in their natural states are neutral towards you, but in their refined uh, chemical states, they are bad for you at high dosages. Kind of like um, taking too much medicine can make you sick. A certain amount is good for you. Too much is bad for you. There's all in between as well. Don't think of it in binary this or that terms. There's an entire line of things, okay? And I know how fucking stupid everyone is. I'm sick of dealing with it. I'm sick of everyone acting like a fucking idiot wanting everyone else to think for them. Think for your fucking selves. There's a lot more to all this this bullshit fucked up story of mine. There it's not a story. It's it's the the tale of my life by me. How fucked up my life has been. And that's that's only a highlight reel, motherfuckers. It's been like that day in and day out, constant 24/7 non-fucking stop, a parade of bullshit, fucking everyone over around me including myself. It's been non-fucking-stop. Oh, yeah. When my mom left Glenn Dabbs and ran away from him...
to protect me and my sister from him and to protect herself and went to a safe house. The safe house staff allowed other fucking idiots to take our personal fucking belongings from us. It didn't matter what it was. They just let them take it. And they said, oh, it belongs to everyone. No, those were my personal fucking items. They belong to me, bitch. That was my personal stuff you stole. Just like when they arrested me. They took, at the time, my cell phone, my fucking thumb drives with all my game save data on it, my iPod, and they kept this stuff, claiming it was evidence. How the fuck is it evidence when it wasn't anywhere near me when Sean attacked me and I defended myself? I'm not going to lie, it was fucking brutal. When you, when you black the fuck out and you snap because all the psychological pressure from watching a family member die from being raped and murdered and the, the fucking DA and the assholes in the court, they didn't consider the stress, the immense mitigating circumstances, as they would call it, and, you know, fucking uh, fuck you over with colorful language. Yeah, you know, they didn't consider shit. All they considered was you did you attacked him. Someone called uh, the cops, us. We got there. You attacked him. That's what we see. We don't give a fuck what you say. They didn't they didn't have my testimony there at all. They suppressed it. And the pictures they allegedly took, yeah, they fucking actually took pictures of the wounds I had from defending myself. I don't even know how the fuck I got them. Bite marks and cuts and... Uh, whoa. But no. That, no. Those pictures didn't go to the grand jury. You know, you fuckwits, a jury of your peers. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to go there and defend myself in front of you and let you know... You know, my side of what fucking happened. Me telling you. I don't I don't remember what the fuck happened because you know, it was right after the funeral. Our family was t torn apart. We don't know what the fuck happened. Shit fell apart. You can only take so much stress. And the purpose of this video is to make you feel like shit. Because you are. Because you'll give money to a whore on Twitch who says, Oh, if you don't pay me for the stream, you're a parasite. Well, you know, turnabout's fair play, bitch. Turnabout is fair play, bitch. If none of you give a fuck to help me, and donate on Patreon and PayPal to me, you're a bitch. You're a little fuckboy. You are a parasite. You are a piece of shit. You're a soulless piece of fucking filth. And a testament to how corrupt the American way of life truly is. Oh. And, um... As far as my friend, Joe, you know, I'm sick of his shit. During that whole time, you know, shortly after, no, it was, it was after we got my sister back in and, and I was watching her die. He didn't fucking give a shit. He didn't help. He promised to help. He he made these wild, exuberant promises to send me a box of money so that I could uh, do something. He promised to have some friends he knew help do some things for me so that I could get out of this bullshit situation 
and calm the fuck down and let this stress go away. He made these wild, absorbent, whatever fucking word you want to use to describe it, these wild ass fucking promises of giving me things to help me. Not once, not twice, not three times. No, 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 not that fucking bullshit phallic rule of three that you all jerk yourselves to, you fucking idiots. Eight fucking times he promised me money and never fucking gave it to me. Seven years. That gave him seven years of being my so-called friend. And, you know, he's just a complete lying piece of shit. He really is. He didn't help. He made things worse. By lying. By not helping. By being a complete piece of shit. By being the ideal American. I don't, I don't know what else to fucking say about it. I'm sick of everyone around me being a piece of shit. And that doesn't say anything. I have not even said anything about the fucking landlord piece of shit who's charging like near 500 fucking dollars for a fucking trailer. A trailer. A fucking trailer. These things aren't worth five hundred fucking dollars a month. They're barely worth fifty. Let alone the fact that uh, there's no fucking insulation underneath it. The ceiling was replaced with metal, which is a thermal conductor, which means the heat will go away in the winter faster, and I will be baked during the summer faster. It's called thermal dynamics. Look at the fuck up, okay? I'm tired of thinking for your fucking retarded asses, America. Fuck you. You're stupid. I'm smarter than every last fucking one of you combined. I'm, I'm sick of fucking hiding it. Before I went to high school, my IQ was tested. It was over 160 fucking points worth. And to me, the IQ test is fucking stupid. It measures, above all your short-term memory recall. That's not intelligence. That's just basic memory. It measures just basic fucking memory. And rudimentary, crude, rudimentary, two-dimensional spatial skills. Not even problem solving. It's very crude, very inefficient. It's not an effective measure of true intelligence. Intelligence, it is not artificial by any means. It either exists or it doesn't. Whether you program it or you teach it. What's the difference between programming a computer and teaching an infant that has no knowledge in its head? What's the fucking difference? There is none. It's all psychosomatic fuck shit in your skull. You think there's a difference. Just like you think you fucking exist. Just like you think you know everything, but you really don't? Yeah, there's there, that's the difference. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> let, let you idiots think that instead of the truth. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. I don't have fuck all to lose anymore. And this, this shit here with my teeth, it's excruciatingly painful. If you go to the doctor and they ask you your pain rating, you know, 1 to 10, my scale is 0 to 10. 0 is no pain. That's what an average person should be in. 0. 5 is, holy fuck, why is this happening? 10 is you're rolling on the floor, fucking moaning and, and wailing, or just whimpering, because you can't fucking move anywhere else because the pain is so overwhelming. For me, 
Every fucking day is a minimum of a seven. Every fucking day. And it's not getting any better. And you know what? Me getting angry? Yeah, that's that's natural. Yeah, fuck you if you think I'm being rude. Fuck you. Because adrenal reaction stimulates... Oh, what is it? Dopamine, endorphins, norepinephrine, and dimethyltryptamine production within various... Um, adrenal glands in the brain that numb the pain response. The pain's still there, it just makes it feel like it's slightly out of place, like it's slightly separated. It makes it feel not so real. That's what the adrenal response from being angry does. That's why people who are in pain lash the fuck out so goddamn easily, you fucking pathetic mongoloidal pieces of shit. You're stupid. Fuck you. None of you know what the fuck you're talking about. Fuck every last goddamn one of you. There. Now you know some extra shit about me that you probably didn't before. Fuck every last goddamn one of you. And by the way, just in case there's some sort of federal agent going to be watching this, the shit that I've been through is blatant and direct violation of my constitutionally and civilly protected unalienable rights mentioned in your oh-so-precious fucking Declaration of Independence. Maybe this is a quote, maybe it's a paraphrase. And we hold these truths self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. And that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It didn't say that those are the only ones. And you know what? I define my unalienable rights as long as they do not inflict directly against the unalienable rights of another being. So if I were to go off and say, fuck you, that doesn't violate your unalienable rights in any way. All that does is offend your delicate snowflake social justice warrior sensibilities. Fuck you. If I were to stab you with a knife like you fucking deserve, you pieces of shit, that would violate your right to life. Because I'm endangering it, you fuck. If you come at me and attack me like those bitches did on Twitter, trying to get me arrested, that directly violates my unalienable right of life. And back in those days when they wrote the Declaration of Independence, they interlaced the meaning of these words together so that it formed a solid adamantite barrier against tyranny in the United States has become a tyranny. The way they worded it, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness is your civil liberty to acquire and attain, to do what you want to do for your personal enjoyment, so long as you're not violating the rights of another being. So long as you're not directly, intentfully violating the rights of another being. Pursuit of happiness falls under liberty. It is a liberty. Liberty covers a myriad of things. And it is part of your life. All these two, under life. They're all interwoven together. Because one is like an umbrella that covers the other. You understand? Fucking idiots. You violate one, it violates them all. 
And I made a video talking about that too. Time to revolt on the oppressors. Yeah. One third. So I've become excruciatingly and painfully cynical and sarcastic and satirical. Because I'm sick of all the bullshit. I'm sick of everyone being full of shit. I'm sick of it. I want to be able to live my life. My fucking life. For myself. I'm tired of being enslaved by the corrupt American tyranny. America is a terrorist, tyrannical piece of shit country. It's fucking sickening. America, you sicken me. And here's some history you might not fucking believe or give a fuck about. But I am Apache, Blackfoot, and Cherokee tribal. And I'm of royal Cherokee lineage. I'm a Cherokee fucking prince, you goddamn pieces of shit. And because my Apache heritage shows so readily and so clearly, that's the one I claim above the others. Because it's difficult to control and that amount of rage and unbridled anger is very difficult. Because it's completely natural. The anger response to something against your existence is completely fucking natural. but I managed to fucking do it. And if I can use the power of my own will to overpower Apache rage and hatred from a warmongering tribal bloodline, if I can overpower the spirit of Apache hatred and rage and vengeance with my willpower alone and my superior intelligence with my superior mind, then you fucking white devil, scumbag, terrorist, tyrannical fucks have no excuse for being as stupid and asleep in life as you are. That's just another reason why I fucking hate all of you. I'm sick of everyone's bullshit. It's time for me to have what the fuck I want and need in life. I've been denied my basic fucking rights as a living being for far too fucking long.